Hello everybody, so today I'm going to show you how to create these flames by only using notes in Blender. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, if you want, you can download this scene on my Gumroad store, the link is in the description and it would help me a lot if you buy some of my products in there. And yeah, I hope you like it. So I have my scene in here, which is just a cube and everything is black. I'm going to add a new material, delete the principal shader and add a principal volume. After that, I crank the emission to one and change the color to a orange color, like a bit like fire. And then I add a texture coordinate, connect the emission color to generate it so I can see what I'm doing first. And then I had a vector mat, change it to subtract, change the numbers to 0.5 all at once. And then I add another vector mat, change it to scale, set it to, and I add another vector mat and change it to length. And so now by adding a mat node and change it to subtract, you can see that we have now a sphere. So this is going to be the base of our flame. And so after that, I just change the end of these nodes to the emission strength. And so now I want to have a bit more control over the color and the strength of our flame. So I add another matte node and I change it to multiply. And so I am cranking up the value in here and I had a RGB curve so I can have control over where it's darker and lighter. Okay, after this, I am going to, I'm going to distort our flame and for that I'm going to add a Voronoi texture, connect the coordinates and I'm going to add another matte node so we can add both the base of our sphere and our noise and so change the Voronoi noise to smooth F1 and play with the scaling so now we are starting to have a bit of noise in here after that I am going to add another matte node, change it to subtract and play with the values so our flame is a bit smaller, like this. So we are almost there with our flame, but I want to add a bit more noise. So I'm adding another vector mat and changing to multiply. And so now in here, what I'm trying to achieve is to lower our Z value and crank the X and Y. So we have a more stretch out flame. And after that, I added a mix and changed to color, changed to linear light and now I had another noise and so in this way this is a little trick to have a bit more variation on our noise as you can see in here it's much more detailed. Okay after this I am going to try and shape our flame a bit better by using a separate XYZ and now a combined XYZ and connect the X, the Y and Z and now add a math node and change this to power and now I can control the Z so as you can see I'm shifting the weight of our Z and so now this looks a bit more like fire and for us to have access to our noise, I'm going to connect the combine XYZ to our multiply instead of using the generate coordinates. So now I want to animate this and so I'm going to add a value and now I'm going to write frame and so here is our frame rate and then I had a math node so I can control the speed of our animation with the divide. And so now to be able to animate our flames from bottom to the top, I had another vector math nodes and I connected with a combined X, Y, Z and only connect the divide to the Z and the Z to the vector in here. And this looks a little bit weird. Blender has a bug, so you have to open another panel. And so now the animation is playing normally. So now I also want our noise to be animated so I just duplicate our divide in here and now I change our noise to 4D and our Voronoid noise to 4D as well so I can connect our divide to the W, both of them. So now it's just a matter of adjusting the speeds and one last thing to do is in our subtract in the beginning when we did our sphere play with the value in the subtracting in there and so 
as you can see it's going to look more like a flame instead of having our top cut it as you can see in here by lowering the value it's going to fix that and this is it this is how we create fire in blender all using notes i hope you liked it please give it a like subscribe and i'll see you next week